Welcome to our kitchen. Very functional. We like it. We don't love it. So we are going to renovate and a lot of people will say it costs between twenty-five and fifty thousand or more to renovate a kitchen. Well, we're going to do it for under twelve. That's the goal. So this is what we're envisioning. We had our cupboards refaced about ten years ago and they have served us very well. But I want this refrigerator here to be enclosed. I want the cupboards to be taller, especially over here. So we're going to have this part removed and we hope there's nothing behind that. And the countertops have been good, um, but we are getting quartz because quartz you don't have to do anything to, you don't have to seal it. So as much as we've enjoyed the granite, it hasn't been great. It's been fine, but looking forward to changing it up and lightening up this room so that it kind of goes and flows right into the living room. So our guy Jody is going to work his magic and we will update you as the progress goes along. So we're gonna have nice soft pull drawers, which we don't have right now, or do we? Well, just that one's a soft pull, let's see. Hmm, that one might be too. Anyway, <laughs> you know what I'm really looking forward to? Not having this in the middle. That will be gone, so it will free up some space and it'll just make everything more accessible. Right, Freebie? That's very important. Okay, so stay tuned and we'll take you along for the progress as this kitchen gets a makeover and hopefully we stay under budget. The renovation is continuing and Colin and I have decided to just pretend that we're camping, glamping, kind of, making toast on the floor, coffee on the floor. It's kind of fun, except I don't want it to last forever, but we're getting there. Here it is, the finished product, and we are really happy with it. The cabinets we got cost about $3,500. They're not the heaviest, but they're exactly the size that we want, and I love the look of them. Uh, we've got the pullouts on the bottom, which we love. We've got a whole lot more space now. The quartz cost about $3,500. We had one guy and one helper install all this, so the fewer people you have working on the place, the less people you have to pay. So all in all, yeah, about a grand total of 9,000. We've got my tiles here that are not your standard subway tile. They've got that neat little shape to them. I've got those from Wayfair, so save some money there. And uh, repurposed some things, just cleaned up the sink. Don't let somebody tell you you have to buy a new sink if you have a perfectly good working sink. Just took the Brillo pad to it, cleaned it up, and it was good as new. Even added a new piece onto the refrigerator where water had stained this little receptacle here. It looked awful. Ordered one online and it looks brand new. So overall, we're happy with our new kitchen. Oh, and I added a little pop of color up top by actually finding these old vases and spray painting them silver and adding my old um, orange flowers. So we like it. Hope you like it too.